Where it gets a little tricky is when you have a contractor who just does bulk pricing. In other words, they just say cabinets, $20,000, plumbing, $1,500, painting, $22,000. Long story short, contractor said, tough, I'm not giving the insurance company anything, so I'm not going to spend any time breaking down my estimate to them. But by and large, you just need to take it room by room or trade by trade to break those differences down and then figure out what adjustments need to be made. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Hague Education. Use code Adjuster TV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HagueEducation.com. For people out there who are kind of like, you know, you'd say you're, for, for you out there who are watching this and you're exploring the industry and you're looking at the job opportunities, and you hear people talk about, well, there's field claims and there's remote claims and there's desk claims. There's all these different like categories of stuff, right? On the property side, with property being buildings, right? Auto is a little bit different and we don't do a whole lot. Of, I don't, I don't know a whole lot about auto, so we don't talk about it very much. But um, one of the things that you can do as a remote desk adjuster is something called reconciliation. Right. And so let's talk about reconciliation. What it what is reconciliation? And um, maybe like kind of do like the broad strokes, the 50,000 foot view of like how you would do a reconciliation, whatever that is. Yeah, basically reconciliations. And I always enjoyed doing those deployments. And, and when you hear somebody talk about they had a deployment doing cleanup, that's what they're talking about, because really, the initial estimate has typically been written, and now the contractors are starting to catch up and getting out to some of these places and starting to do the work, or at least starting to get uh, their estimators to these uh, homes, and they're writing an estimate. So you have a you have a difference between the insurance company's estimate and the contractor's estimate, and you've got to reconcile those differences. And so, the as a desk adjuster, you may be getting a lot of those. And you have to have a process. Me and Matt talk about process of inspection. Um, you also need a process when it comes to reconciliation. And I've trained people. I've had uh, job shadow me, and they are they just lose their mind when they look at some of the differences. Like Andy, we're one hundred and fifty thousand dollars difference. Calm down. You, when you're looking at just the dollar amount, <laughs> yeah, it can get a little confusing. But you need to break it down. And once you start breaking it down then it's a little easier to manage. And so you can break it down by room and see what the differences are. If you if, if you have a kitchen and bathrooms that are damaged, most of the time you're going to see those major differences in kitchens and bathrooms. But just start breaking down room by room. And so I always had a spreadsheet. Whatever rooms were affected, I put bathroom, bedroom, uh, living room, and then I would list out the differences. And then once you figure out what the differences are, you go into those line items and figure out, okay, does this line item need to be on there? Because the, the contractor's estimate, he may have missed, he may have put a bunch of stuff on there that the first adjuster just absolutely missed. Um, now yeah, I had a, for sure. I had a, where it gets a little tricky, um, and you may have to send it to a field is when you have a contractor who just does bulk pricing. In other words, they just say cabinets, $20,000, $20, plumbing, yeah. 1500 painting, 22000 Then that becomes a little more difficult because then you have to go into Xactimate to your trade summary and figure out the differences. I was working in Iowa one time, and this a contractor did that. And the con I told the insured, I was like, we can't move off of our estimate because we have everything broken down to the line item, gives the labor rates, gives the price per unit. His estimate is just bulk pricing. We don't. Ha I don't have anything to increase our estimate or uh, change our estimate because he didn't give us anything. So long story short, the contractor said, tough, I'm not given the insurance company anything. I'm so busy right now. I don't really need this job. And so I'm not going to spend any time breaking down my estimate to them. So yeah. you have to figure out a way to reconcile those differences. And there's some tools in Xactimate that you can do that. 
But by and large, you just need to take it room by room or trade by trade to break those differences down and then figure out what adjustments need to be made. If you wanna watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.